What up, y'all? This is your boy, Fat Man. Okay, so, uh, YouTube, uh, Warner Brothers has copyright striked, uh, my Thundercats 2011 review, uh, of the first episode one. Episode one is long as shit. Uh, it's about one, about a, it's about a good, <laughs> that's just, that's just, it's pretty long. It's pretty long. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna tell you. Shit ain't one minute long. That's just, that's just long. That shit's, that shit's almost an hour long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like a pod, cause like one of my podcasts. But, but fuck that. Right now, I want to talk about the final Black Widow trailer. We're going to go through this bitch. We're going to react to this. We're going to enjoy this. Ah! And I'm going to talk about it at the end. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's, 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 get it. let's get it. I tell people my sister moved out west. Not true. You're a science teacher. <laughs> science of ass beating. Your husband, he renovates houses. You wish. You're thinking about moving, but you're going to wait until the interest rates go down. That's not my story. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, boy. I was an Avenger. I made mistakes. Ooh. And a lot of enemies. He's called Science Taskmaster. Hmm. He controls the Red Room. They're manipulated, fully conscious, but no choices. Ah, mind control. I should have come back for you. How many others are there? Enough. May 1st, baby. Need to go back to where it all started. So they never do that to anyone again. We're a family. We fight with you. You won't win. I've always found it best. Oh, we got the black. Oh, Black Panther moves. Look into the past. Okay, you got a plan, or shall I just stay duck and cover? My plan was to drive us away. Well, your plan sucks. That's going badly. Ooh. Get him, get him, Natasha. Oh. You all have to choose. Get it. The world wants you to be. General Ross, boy. Mmm, that was nice though. I like that move. Choice. I'm done running. Oh, oh. Hey, anybody can use the shield. Nah, what? Alright, a little too much fantasy on that one. I like that. Here's what's gonna happen. Natasha, don't slouch. I'm not slouching. You're going to get the big hunch. Mm, listen to your mother. Oh my god. This listen to your mother? All right, enough. All of you. <laughs> I didn't say anything. That's not fair. Ha ha I, I, I. Let me, let, let me take it back a little bit. Let me take it back a little bit. I'm gonna take it back just a little bit. Not, not, not from here. But on some real, that was perfect. And I gotta admit one thing. What catches me off guard just a little bit would be this would be like yeah she's not gonna run no more but what catching me off guard is i now i forget that he is supposed to also be like captain america uh the red guardian is supposed to be a super soldier he's supposed to have the same abilities as captain america but you know he does you know he's got that aging factor that throw though that throw is pretty nice ain't gonna lie to you Right here catches me a lot. When she does that slide in, I'm like, ah, right, Natasha, like, ah, right, now the movie took itself extra serious. It's gone a little over the top, and Taskmaster just seems to be that 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 villain that you just can't fight. You know what I'm saying? And right here, after she gets her ass beat by these guys, and this this looks like it's the like it's clo it's reaching the final fight with them. When he wa walks in here, it's so in. This looks like an intense moment, like. Bitch, I've been waiting to get my hands on you. Like I, like I had you on that bridge. I got you now, and it leads up to you know them falling out the sky. Like damn, you know what I'm saying? Like General Ross right here. I don't know how good he looks. Let's go back for a second. General Ross, where he at? Where he at? Where he at? General Ross looking real good right now. Like not CGI delicious good, but he's looking real like badass. There's a lot of Jennifer Ross, so he's chasing Natasha around the world. So obviously he was he was probably guessing that eventually she would come back to Russia. They always come back to see the like where they were born and shit like that. So that's crazy. Natasha getting kicked 
her ass getting kicked by the Red Room Squad here is kind of like, damn. You know what I'm saying? She fighting all of these Black Widow. So all of these trained Black Widow soldiers are under control. They're brainwashed. So there's a reason why they're coming after her. They have free will. Well, not really because Taskmaster got them. The Red Room basically controls them. And it controlled uh, the older, uh, her sister at one point. She's so right now it shows that she's outmatched and outgunned. When it comes to this kick in the face, I was like, oh, right, right there, it's the right there's the ah, oh, it's the over like that knee. That's a that's a little slider knee. That shit. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Taskmaster, I'm gonna give it to you. I feel like you can kind of see through the. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in. You can kind of see. It's Taskmaster. I don't know why they want to use a skull. Uh, for most fans, we had to notice because of the hood and uh, the skull-like thing on the face and bow and arrow and the orange. We had to really look for all these fucking details. Seriously. But you can kind of see an eyeball right here. If you look closely enough, there's an eye sticking out right here. I'm not, I'm, I'm not bugging if that's just a cracked glass, if that's just bad. You know, bad everything, but you can kind of see something there. I don't know, boy. Uh, you got a little funny scene in this car. I don't mind the funny scene when a car gets shot at, and she's just like, you know, it's two funny scenes. I forget Marvel always likes to lighten up the mood when it comes to these type of scenes. That's perfectly fine. Let them do what they have to do. This red room fight, though, like, Taskmaster looked pretty badass in this light. I'm guessing he doesn't speak much now because it's a trailer, but when he fights Red Guardian... Red Guardian, that right there, go back right there, that fucking caught me off guard. So this is the moment he's like, he's about he's like Red Guardian. I ain't fight you yet. When he pulls out those fucking, cl I really need to like time it right. Uh, bam, he pulls out those claws. That shit caught me. I'm like, when did this nigga catch Black Panther in a fight? That means he's been pretty. He's been. He's seen Avengers footage. He's seen because he all he remembers, all he knows is he's been, he's been watching them. That in in the beginning you see he's watching her, um, in Iron Man two. So he's been like studying moves. That definitely Black Panther. Like, are you serious? He's been studying, like Natasha for a long time, like preparing to bust shit out of the water. And that's just something that's crazy about it. He's, he's been basically preparing for her return. And that's a little crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. But but when he does catch her, it's the moment you feel that this is the first time they meet. This is the first time they clash. And he doesn't, he doesn't maybe he doesn't have all his skills just yet, right? He's not, he's skilled up. He's got a couple of, right there. He watches her. So he's been watching her since Iron Man 2. That's fucking crazy. That means he's been watching all the Avengers. That's how he's able to learn um Black Panther's fight. Black Panther's fighting style through cameras and shit. He's been behind the scenes before. He's been hiding. So we basically, but he has a huge grudge on Natasha. So he may be part of the Red Room or I, I really don't want him to be up a, a, a woman, Taskmaster was never that. The, the guy was always mysterious. He was always just weird. He was always a gun for hire. Taskmaster story. For anybody that wants to learn about my Taskmaster, in the description below. Uh, I, I left the Marvel link there. But the red room here, badass. You want diversity? There's diversity right up in this fucking here. I want this. This is what I want at next New York Comic Con. I want all the ladies... As freaking uh, black widows up in here. I want all the red room women, okay? Diversity up in this bitch. We got a black girl. We got a white girl. We got probably got a Spanish girl, Latino bitch. Stop playing. Stop playing. Diversity's in this. In here. Diversity. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at all that mixedness. Asian lady. The red room is bit diverse. This is a superhero movie for badass women. You want diversity? Diversity right here. Look at the badassness. Look at it. Oh, look at that. Look, boy. Boy, let me zoom in. Can I zoom in? Look at that. She Asian or white. 
She she black. Black, black, black. White lady. Uh white lady? Black what You talking about boy? What you talking about boy? Look at the man. Man Look at these chicks. They hot. I feel like this is it, the Asian lady. Whatever. But this is that's diversity right here. Diversity. This is what y'all want. And you know what? They're not even saying it. Oh. Smart ass people. I had talked about the mind control. I gotta give it to Scarlett Johansson. They do a good fucking job. Like, they really do a good job of, like, showing her, like, perspirating, sweat, water, all that stuff. The makeup they got this girl wearing, fire. Fire. Boom, 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 boom. Fire. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> this is the Taskmaster again with his badassness. I don't know why. This is the red room where it was in the house. I think this is where they where they first were at. So let me. It's a little dark in this scene here, but I think this was the the training area site that they were at. This type of house style for the red room, or it's like a bunker, so like a hidden place. Red Guardian breaking out. So we 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 haven't really gotten a chance to show off Red Guardian's strength yet, but. Here you can see that the dude is strong. He does have cap. He does have the super soldier strength. Cause remember, at the time Russia and um, uh, what is it? 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 The Cold War. Cold War. Russia is developing weapons. The U.S. is developing weapons. Like kind of like the nuclear arm style. Like you're built. You're getting better weapons. We're getting better weapons. You think you can do that better? We can do that better. You know what I'm saying? The super soldier serum. So that's not bad. And he just he just looks kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie to you. I give it up to the actor that playing Red Guardian. Um, he's he's pretty kick ass. Like he, we we had him in a scene where he's like about to fight off mad guards. I don't know how he was gonna survive that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, this is his breakout scene. You know he was, you know he was ready to fight some people. He was like, oh, let's get it. Oh man. But I'm not gonna lie to you, Black. This Black Widow movie is gonna be fire. I leave it off that it's gonna be fire because it just it just is. I think Marvel really Marvel hasn't taken their foot and they shoved it in here, but this movie should have came out a long time ago. But they're making it uh it's not a prequel story, but it is. And it's not an origin story, but it kind of is. It's like a a throwing continuation of her story. Because Automatically, she hasn't talked about her past, but we've seen glimpses in Age of Ultron. We've seen, we've heard talks about Budapest and the first Avengers. We have uh, her telling, you know, Bruce Banner that she can't have kids because of the Red Room. Like, they, they burned and tied her ovaries. Like, you know, that's over. So, that's a very daunting uh, decision and a daunting, like, situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, She's she has a lot of trauma and a lot of hurt, and she's dealt with it in the most therapeutic way I've ever thought about uh, just killing people and being badass. But she's she's worked for good. She has a lot of as she says red on her ledger. But there's a reason for that. There's a reason for this movie being as good as it is. I support this movie a hundred percent. Fuck Captain Marvel. Just just bleh, I don't care. I don't care. Disney. Really threw money at that. I heard there were empty movie theaters, empty seats. It wasn't a good movie. I'm straight. I heard a lot about it. I didn't want to watch it. I didn't care for it. I just didn't. Because Brie Larson can't act. I've seen a movie where she couldn't act. That Unicorn Story shit was terrible. And this movie right here is the first. This is the literal female first Avenger. Fuck you mean. Marvel put some respect on Black Widow's name. Put some respect on Scarlett Johansson. This movie... I want this movie to do, I want it to do gangbusters. I want it to because I want this to beat Captain Marvel. It, it may not, but show some respect here. I think this movie, if this is Scarlett Johansson's last Marvel movie until they, until they go like, until Marvel just says, all right, we're going to hit, we're going to do Secret Wars and a whole bunch of other shit. Lit. I feel like this is important. For the, for the moment. This is important for the end of it. This movie should do gangbusters. It should. It needs to. It has to. 
I'm definitely showing up because I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let this movie be in tarnished. And right here, this kitchen scene, this whole like we're chilling and eating, this is a family moment. Natasha does have a family. She may lose this family, but I like that the Avengers, they, they were like, we thought, you know, they think they're the only family she had. And maybe by the end of this movie, they are the only family that she has. You know what I'm saying? I never know. But something happens in this movie that she doesn't mention these people ever again. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't mention them. You know, even she doesn't mention them to Hawkeye or anything. You know what I'm saying? And I hope they do show what happened in Budapest. I really want to see the, the origin build up. Because this character has a lot of trauma. She has a lot of devastating things that happened to her. She's been a murderer and a killer for so long. I kind of want to see the switch and how the switch up uh, came full circle. Because right now, everything up into the Avengers is coming back around full circle. Plus, she died in Infinity Wars. I mean, my bad. Endgame. So it's it's that it's that final nail in the coffin. This is it. Uh, I appreciate Scarlett Johansson. I appreciate Marvel. I appreciate all the actors and actresses in this movie. And for the long run, it's you know from 2008 to 2020, it's been a fucking big ride. So let's get it. If you're gonna go see Black Widow, you need to go see this movie. I'm just saying. You don't want to see it. Meh, 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 meh. Fuck it. But it's from me to you. I'm going to watch this with my friends. That's my family and anybody else. You should take your family and friends to see this because it is family oriented, it seems like. But it also is more of a storytelling behind it. Check it out. Go watch it. I'm going to see it when it comes out. You may not. You may be like, nah, I'm going to save my money. Go ahead. But trust me not, this is important. This, this, this has to be important because this will show Marvel. They should have fucking picked Black Widow before they picked. That, that trash, <laughs> that trash, fuck, fuck Captain Marvel, straight up, straight the fuck up, I'm Fat Man DD1, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified, and for everything, remember to never give up, never surrender, and keep on grinding, mad fucking love to you, from the Bronx, I'm out. Shit, get bit on drum, get bit on drum, you real niggas gonna stop you acting like my shit ain't the grill. Some of you niggas get your front teeth for grills. And I ain't talking about the contract. I got you. I ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin' nigga, all them niggas Fallin' like all them niggas Talkin' shit, I saw them niggas Now they daughter want a picture, rough ain't it? Fuck famous, yeah, niggas too real, yeah, got the most haters Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry How we feel to be golden 